What's up guys, welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. Instead of playing around with the grass and shallow water, I decided to go below the dam where there's deeper water and swifter current. And of course, like any time, different water, different conditions, different hurdles. Here the water is a lot clearer, so I messed around with some finesse tactics a little bit more. And I focused a little bit on current seams. And of course, the bottom of the river channel and the current make it easy to get hung up. So I decided to try the Nico rig. It's really snag resistant and catches fish really well. However, the problem with the Nico rig is typically it's a light presentation. And with this depth and this current, it took a while for the bait to get down the bottom. And to be honest with you, I don't think it ever got to the bottom, but rather was getting swept by the current. Another. By the way, that was a Nico rigged four inch yum dinger. Um, and I was just dead sticking it. I just threw it out there and let it sit. And he took it. So, fortunately, I can't find any more of those yum dingers. I forget what I do with them. But anyway, we will find some. We'll find some to catch them. Your traditional Nico rig uses a straight, uh, a straight tail worm. It doesn't have to be a straight tail worm, but uh, usually it uses a worm. Okay? And you're going to take a nail weight like this one and you're going to insert it in here okay just like this straight as you can it's not very straight you see how quick that is anyway you want to get it as straight as you possibly can yeah okay, I usually like to bury it all the way so that way it doesn't uh, come out so easily Okay. You also then you're gonna have your wacky rig applicator. You take your own ring, L ring. You put it on the lower half of the worm. Okay. And then you're gonna take your hook. And I prefer the ones with the weed guards. You don't need that. Uh, if you're fishing around on a lot of rock, you don't need a weed guard for sure. Uh, to be honest, I like one that's a little bit stiffer than that. Anyway, you'll have your line your line tied here, and I usually put it hook point up. Okay, I usually get some of the worm as well. So then, when I, when I'm pulling it through the water, it will go do this number, and then it will sink down to the uh, to the lead side. Okay, and that's your Nico rig. As simple as that. It's really snag resistant. Does very well. Okay. The problem with this is you can't insert a lot of weight in here, and so you're limited on the depth you can fish, or you just have to take uh, wait a long time in order for this to sink to the depth you want to fish it. So I modified it. I want you all to take notice of the current behind me and the current that was all around me. The traditional Nico rig would have never made it to the bottom here, so I had to add some weight in order to fish it effectively.
these ones. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's another one. Check this out. A little bit of modified Nico. It's deep here, current's real strong, so I need more weight. So I use a screw lock and I put a little drop shot weight on there. Gets down there, works real well. So hopefully we can catch another one. What you'll need for this modification is you'll need a hitchhiker and you'll need a sinker with a, uh, a loop like this, or you can use a drop shot weight like I used in the video. Okay, I use this because it's easy to see in this uh, uh, in this demonstration. In this video, I use the Berkeley Berkeley Max Scent Hit Worm. Okay, and this is a plum color. Now, all you're gonna do, I'm gonna put this up here. You're gonna take your weight. You're gonna take your hitchhiker. Okay, so you're gonna take your hitchhiker through that right there. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my hitchhiker. I'm gonna screw it into the top of my lure, in this case, worm. And I wanna screw it all the way in until it covers right here, okay? So you need to cover that so that way your hook or your, your, your weight doesn't come off of there, okay? So now, okay, so now I can take my wacky rig applicator that take my hook I'm gonna do it exactly the same way now I like to make sure I get some of the worms so that way it doesn't just sling off and all you got is the o-ring coming back at you all right so now I have a heavy weight but I can still take this to the water and it still does this number and but when it goes when it's on the bottom it's going to be sitting on that and this is going to be uh floating up okay works really well in heavy current in deep water i can get to the bottom quickly and uh jig it on the bottom and i'm still relatively weedless uh now it does hang up more the weight you know obviously being heavier it's gonna sink and get caught between things but for the most part since i'm pulling here it will come free okay so here's your standard Nico rig, and here's your modified Nico rig. Here the current wasn't that rough. However, it was 25 feet deep. So in order to get it down there and finish it adequately, I had to have the extra weight. Nico right here. Lighten the, I 
lighten it a little bit. I might go back to the heavier one. We'll see. You can also do creature baits, okay? I got my crawl. Put this through here. My crawl. Like this. And now if you ever seen a crayfish, you pull it and it actually kind of looks like a crayfish darting. All right, you can do this bait, you can do any bait you want to, and you end up with the same thing. Here I decided to put it to the test and throw it into the really turbulent water, and it worked like a charm. However, I must admit, the water is really sketchy and I was not comfortable here. So please, if you fish any water like this, keep your life jacket on. Hi right, guys, so to fish this rig, I use my normal finesse uh, equipment. Uh, this is a six and a half foot medium fast action spinning rod. I have it paired with usually 10 to 20 pound test braided line. And then I'll have a leader, a fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon leader, 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader uh, tied, spliced with an Alberta knot. Uh, it does very well. Uh, have very little problems with it. Casts really well. Um, and I mean, that's just, that's what I, pretty much the same thing. I'll throw a, a drop shot on, um, and other finesse tactics. So this, since that, uh, hook is pretty much almost open, it's got a very light wire, uh, wire weed guard. You don't need much. And that braid will help you get a good hook in it. And as you saw, most of those fish I had, all those fish I had were hooked very well. I hope these tips help guys. So if they do, if you catch fish with them, post pictures i'd love to see them and uh if you like these kinds of videos guys please give me a thumbs up share it uh comment below uh any other uh modifications or that those type of things things that you might have used that might work um i like to hear ideas look guys as you can see i like to play around with stuff so um share it like it subscribe and uh until next time tight lines